coming to a Woolworths near you. Good morning, Glory. The anniversary edition. I'm here. In a river. Which reminds me of the time I got my penis stuck in... Oh, I can really taste the dog's tongue. You're actually a woman? It's as simple as that. Man's greatest myth. The female orgasm. Do I still do this even though I've not got an earpiece in? It's probably a sex doll. Been anally raped by King Jong-un. Germany invades Poland. Again? Starring Jim Dodd. Mary Magdalene. Whore or boar? Just why did they name it Cottaging? Is it a snake? Yes. Hi, coming. She may be there sometime. And your favourite reporter, Doug Swan. Look, a tree! I've been attacked by an Indonesian child. Good morning, Glory, on VHS Now! Hello and welcome to another episode of Good Morning Glory. Today we'll be talking politics, fish, politics and potatoes. Our top story. Nearly a year on from the grades debacle, well, hardly debacle, but with the level of competency in this government, brushing your hair before addressing the nation appears to be a challenge. Anyway, Gavin Williamson, the Secretary of Education, has announced that all teachers will grade their pupils rather than having them sit exams. I believe we have Mr. Williamson on the line now. Gavin? Hello, Jim. Good morning, Mr. Williamson. So, back many moons ago when I was at school, we used to ask the teachers, why can't you grade us? And we were told they couldn't because there'd be an element of bias, which is exactly what we saw last year. Does this not give you cause for concern? Well, concern is a strong word, Jim. Does it concern me? Yes. But am I concerned? No. We are going to have massively overqualified future generations whilst not actually being qualified at anything. Half of our McDonald's burger flippers already have degrees in media studies, beauty therapy or even acting. What next? Surgeons with BTECs? Pilots with Legoland driver's licences? Or politicians with no real world experience? Well, that hadn't really crossed our minds. No, nothing ever does. Mr Williamson, teachers are never going to fail one of their pupils as it reflects badly on their teaching. This is why we have exams. B-tards will become finger painters, A-level students will become B-tards, and IB students, well, they'll stay IB students because they're probably at a good school. An um, excellent question, Jim. I didn't even ask a question. OK, last one before you go and embarrass yourself under the network. Uh, the £6,000 for the schools, what will that get exactly? Well, for, for example, for £6,000 they may be able to uh, employ teachers. Lockdown has got the best of us. The house has had more coats of paint than a Dulux factory and Netflix has run out of making child pornography. So you sit and wonder, what would the Michelin man look like if he was a clansman? Well, Doug Swan can tell us just that. Doug? Yes? The fish, Doug? It looks like this. Any, any more, Doug? Any more information? It, uh, it looks like a pygmy racist. Well, some say it looks like a small child. Yes, some people may say that, but some people are idiots, as this is a fish. Um, Doug, what, what constitutes a fish? Well, don't quote me on this, Jim. I'm a staunch proponent of the ocean, and I'm not a scientist. But if you were to ask me, well, I believe it would be anything that is... Well, wet. Back with politics now. It's the question on everyone's lips, but no real journalist will ask it. Matt Hancock, fake crier, con man, 
terrible with public funds. Lawbreaker. Why hasn't he been sacked? Well, he's here with us now to answer why. Yeah, so I had 12 Jaegers, kicked a povo, fucked a pig's head, and still made the Cobra meeting at 8am. <laughs> it was fucking quiche. Yeah. Are we on? Alright, okay. <clears throat> Morning, Matthew. Are you going to resign? Resign? Why the fuck would I resign? They love me down at the boys' club. They even let me finish last on the biscuit last week. Yes, salty. So you believe you are the best man for the job? But actually believe you are the best man for the job? Well, of course I am the best man for the job. And I believe that you should be here today thanking me, thanking my team, and thanking my excellent blowjob skills that got me into the position I am in today. So your friend, and that has absolutely nothing to do with why they got the contract, obviously, received a £14.4 million PPE contract um, can you divulge a bit of information as to you know, why their proposal outbid any others? How did you let them know? Did you write a letter? Did you send them a text? A WhatsApp? Facebook Messenger? Maybe even on Grinder? First of all, not a friend. A family friend of an uncle, once removed, who once helped me move some furniture out of my apartment. So, and, and I believe he was qualified for the job because I once saw a sewing machine in his house. So, oh, and the business proposal, 50% to me, cash. So, that helped. So, last question before you go, Mr Hancock. Um, as of the 27th of December last year, we were told 15 million jabs to freedom. You know, once the elderly and the vulnerable are vaccinated, we can open up Britain. Well, we've surpassed 20 million and we are just talking about easing lockdowns. We've been told there'll be no more lockdowns, so I suppose the question on everyone's lips is, when's lockdown number four? There will be no next lockdown. What? I can't legally say that, but I am confident Everything will be okay, and no one else is telling me to say this. No one else is telling me to say this. And that's what happens, whether it's grades or jobs, people get given things. Matthew Hancock, Secretary of Health. You're probably already offended. Everyone always is. How do we fix that? That's simple. We make Mr. Potato Head gender neutral. Even Barbie now comes in more versions than just the bimbo, including Bimbo Barbie. Thomas the Tank Engine has had female engines introduced. However, stick Northern Rail on the side and, well, given that they're never on time, That'll truly represent modern Britain. Doug Swan has found a potato. Hello, I'm here with the potato to try to figure out what is going on. Joe, is it? That's right. Thank you, dog. Thank you. So, is the world right in thinking that you've got all woke on us and decided to go genderless? Well, that's just not true, dog. Me and the missus are still together and still follow our preferred pronouns. What really happening is, is this is a business opportunity. We've decided to go umbrella at all under potato heads. So we can, you know, bring in other members of our valued family, like a baby potato head or a red rooster potato head. You know, it just made business sense. And just the snowflakes just keep diving on us for no particular reason. So, tell me, why haven't you come open on this before? Well, we had, but no one cared to listen. We told people, but the snowflakes just kept diving on us. 
It just didn't really make sense. You know, and any publicity is good publicity, especially after the Toy Story films had wrapped up. Thank you, Potato. Your words are very wise and make sense. But I won't listen to them, as I've had my mind made up already. Dirty lefties. Back to you, Jim. Well, it's only a matter of time before My Little Pony brings out my massive stud. The weather now, and it's looking pretty glorious out there, which can mean only one thing. Lockdown 4 incoming. Till next time. Thanks for watching Britain's Most Trusted Journalists. If you enjoy what we do, please like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Please subscribe. We've been stuck on 44 for ages now. Please. Please. Uh, okay, I, I, Please I subscribe! Here anyway, aren't we? Are we done? Good. Okay. Okay. Jesus fucking Christ. Worse than Piers Morgan.